Okay, we remove that clutch cable. Okay, you've got four of these 18 millimeter drive plate to um, clutch mounting bolts. I use the open end wrench. Once I get one out, push it, you know, push on the hole up. Then I use the socket to take the next one off because when it comes up to this, it'll rotate up to here and this will support it so the wheel doesn't turn while you're trying to loose it out. But then you have to finish taking it out with the box end wrench because you don't have clearance. Okay, I've got the engine supported. I've got the transmission hooked up to this engine hoist. Got a running bowl in around this end tied through the starter nut hole looped around the bolt for that that uh, arm that uh, brace that's down there I've got one bolt going in that way 18 millimeter one bolt here I already took this one out. So then after that I will Okay, so here's where I've got that lateral brace bolt for that end and this last 18 underneath. Okay, I took off that last bolt that I had left after I'd taken that behind one underneath. So now it's uh, free floating on that end. I just popped off this plastic cap with a screwdriver revealing an 18 millimeter. We'll loosen that up, and that'll get this end loose, and this end secured by that rope. Now with running through this bolt hole for the starter, um, I ran into, oh no, the bolt hole goes through this dust cover too. So I had to cut it off as I was lowering the tranny when I noticed it. So now I'm just having a thin amount going through there so it'll go between it and I'll just untie it, slide it as soon as it, I get the tranny started on the two starting sleeves or whatever there. And get a couple bolts in, then I'll pull it out. So now it's time to bring it back. So after I got the last of the bolts out, I lowered the engine a little bit with the jack. And then I lowered the hoist to bring the tranny down. And I just kind of wiggled it and slid her down onto this board and then slid the board out from underneath the... So you just slide the clutch out and you can slide this out two little tabs broke off coming from uh, these two sides that you just there's a little spring thing see how there's the bottom catch and the top one and the ball bottom catch grabs the bottom edge, the top one goes through that middle hole. So slide the little tabs behind these little fingers that straddle it. Then slide it on here, catch it on the bottom, and put it on the top and then it'll be
be back in place. And then you just slide the new clutch. Okay, if your new clutch looks like this, and your old clutch looks like this, then go over to that drive gear and pull this out before you try installing the new clutch because this disconnects and rides in there and it's just going to make it so you're going to have to pull your transmission back out again to get this out of there if it's left in there and you don't think of grabbing it. And while well, you've got such nice access for two dollars and some cents each, I got a couple new seals. Just grabbed with a vice grip, then pushed on it and peeled the old one out. Put the new one in place. Put the cardboard over it to somewhat protect it, and used the hammer to tap it in around. And once I have it lined up, the transmission somewhat, with the engine, I keep slowly raising this up a little bit, then jacking up the transmission a little bit, raising the, and just slowly bringing them both up until I can get the bolt through the wheel well. Just connect that and everything's lined up. Alright, I started with leaving the jack as low as possible that's supporting the engine. Put, hook the bell housing over that drive plate and then jacked it up uh, with the hoist and brought the engine up also as it came up and it came in contact. I with here I had to use some pry bars to wiggle and coax and wiggle and coax some more until I got it back up in there where I could see the hole in this through the wheel well. Then I uh, got the bolt in there as far as I could then kept wiggling until I got it to reach there and straight and uh, cranked her in. I'll torque it after I get the other end started. But now I just gotta get this aligned up with those pins and the other holes and, and uh, look at putting those bolts from the drive plate to the clutch. Alright, I got the lower one started first, wiggling things around after I got this end in. Then I was able to get this bolt started and as soon as I got this somewhat tight, this one seated nicely. So I was able to bring this one in then. You definitely don't want to cross the threads on these things. So only have them go in as uh, they'll easily start and then you can use a wrench. Now they're supposed to be 70 pounds torque. Then we've got the uh, bolts for the uh, clutch plate. And those are 65 pounds supposed to do it in a crisscross pattern until you bring it up to 65 pounds so uh, it's sort of like a car tire you can't just tighten it and work your way around like you did taking it off and then the starter bolts will be 40 pounds of torque 